In this video, I'm going to show you a super simple hack that you can do in Facebook to spy on your competition. Let's get started. tip with you today on how to get some really great insight from your competition to help you improve your messaging, um, possibly even improve your own Facebook ads, your graphics, and just kind of elevate yourself to and your business to a higher level. So this is something new that Facebook recently rolled out and it's kind of amazing. So let me show you, I'm just going to go to Target's business page to give you an example of what this is. And so they now have added to business pages this info and ads. And when you click on that, you can see what ads Target is currently running, which is pretty awesome. Now, you can't see who they're targeting with each ad. You know, you can't figure out all the different ad sets, all the different ads, how they're targeting their budget, all of that details, but you can see the exact ad copy and the imagery which is extremely insightful and really helpful. So how to use this for your own business? I want you to make a list of you know, your top competitors, the biggest influencers in your industry, people who you consider the most successful that you would kind of aspire to be like. And I want you to go out to their business pages on Facebook and see what ads they're running. Now you're not going to copy, um, do not copy their text, that's plagiarism, don't copy their imagery exactly, but you can get ideas. So let me show you how this works. Um, and also before I do that, I wanna point out, notice how Target has very minimal text and very simple basic imagery, um, which is kind of fascinating because I have noticed that within my niche, people have extremely long text. So Grace Lover is one. I am get targeted by her all the time and she has extremely long form copy ads. I mean, look at this. And just very short one sentences kind of keeps you going, keeps you reading. But look how long that is. It's like a blog post or a sales page. It's freaking insane. Um, Let's see, here's another one. I mean, really, really, really long. But what you can gain from this, and you know, maybe you wanna test this, maybe not, but what you can gain from this is that Grace tells really good stories. I was living every entrepreneur's nightmare. And then she goes into the story. It really draws you in. Um, so she kind of goes the opposite track where Target was super short, um, you know, very basic. Hers are really, really long form. Um, I want to show you another one, Jenna Kutcher. Let's go to her page. Now, also remember, when you're looking for people, do not click on the people. This is her personal page. This is her actual business page, and that's where you're going to find this information. So we're going to go to info and ads. Okay, so Jenna is really good about using emojis, um, using special characters within her ad copy. So you can get See, she's got these special characters to kind of draw your eye, these special emojis that get attention. Um, so she's really great about that, or whoever is running her ads is really great about that. I mean, look at how they use these emojis to draw you to that link that they're wanting you to click. Um, so these are some great, great tips and insight that you can learn from someone who more than likely has hired you know, an agency, an expert, someone who knows what they're doing, and you can kind of take from this. Now, again, don't copy their their actual words. Don't repeat the images. Don't steal. Um, don't plagiarize. But you can really take some ideas and concepts and learn how to write your ad copy. Learn how to break up the text. Learn how to use emojis and special characters to draw attention. Learn how to tell stories in your ads. So those are a couple examples of really long ones. I'm going to go to the Home Depot and show you another example of shorter ads. So I find it really interesting that Target and then both Home Depot use really short ad copy. So it also depends on your niche. 
And so be careful about who you're taking these ideas from and make sure that you're still testing. So if you're taking these ideas even for your own Facebook, your organic posts, or for paid ads, make sure that you are also testing with your own audience. Because obviously Home Depot and Target have found out that with their target market and their types of customers, they need really short um, copy, really basic images. But with maybe people who are trying to get other coaches or other entrepreneurs, they have found that more ad copy, telling a story, that's what really sells. Um, but use this new feature that Facebook rolled out to get those ideas and to see what your competitors are doing. And then maybe you can elevate what you're doing as well. So I hope you guys liked this tip. I hope you found it helpful. And if so, I'd love to com comment below. Let me know what you think. I'd love to know if you've used this, how you're using it. Um, you know, I just let me hear your thoughts and let's keep the conversation going.